Good morning. This is your sweet Apostle Rossin Solomon, and this is your YouTube channel, The Prophetic Life Advice Show. And today, I think it's October 10th, 2022. Um, before I give you the word, I have to tell you that I'm going to have to stop doing the week, the daily um, prophetic words um, because it's taking up a lot of data on my phone. I've uh, I've already used up my data and it doesn't roll over again until the 23rd. And um, on my computer yesterday, I literally had to clean it out because the disk is running out of room. So I'm going to be doing the weekly word every Friday or Saturday. And every Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be doing the prayer devotional video and a um, small teaching video and then another kind of video. So you can expect four videos on fridays and saturdays if i'm home if i'm not home you know i'll i'll try and do a little something from my phone <laughs> but, but when i'm home on my computer you'll be getting the weekly word the daily devotional prayer small teaching and um something else and that would be every friday and saturday now um if i do do a daily word it'll be on when it it'll be on the shorts might not have no picture uh, you might see a wall or or the floor <laughs> if you don't see me but i'll be doing those uh daily word shorts every now and again um i'm still gonna be coming on live periodically um offering free coaching two three minutes for each person dream interpretation prophecy and stuff like that but you know that's not going to be a weekly thing but it'll it'll be in the months, you know, I did it this month. I'm gonna do it again before this month. Is no, I didn't do it this month. I tried to. <laughs> I'm gonna do it before this month is out. So please, you know, don't be upset. I'm using too much data on my phone, and it's slowing my phone down, and my computer's getting slowed down. So I don't know how people be doing those weekly words like that. Um, and see, my movie maker, it's only hooked up to Instagram and TikTok. If it was hooked up to YouTube, then I could upload the videos from my phone or from my computer directly to YouTube. But see, right now I have to download it on my phone, then upload it. And on my computer, I got to download it on my computer, then upload it. So that's what's messing the data. <clears throat> so hopefully, when I started out, they only had TikTok. Now they got Instagram. So hopefully they'll be able to um, upload YouTube. So please don't look for daily words anymore. Just look for a weekly word, prayer devotional, small teaching and something else every Friday or Saturday. And um, me coming on here live, you know, a couple of times out the month. And um, every blue moon, you might get a daily word um, on the shorts, right? <laughs> you know, and still subscribe to Ross and Solomon's channel because that's where all the big words go because I have, so a video to put on there all right so here's the word i asked uh, this is the last daily word okay because i gave the weekly word this past saturday so this is the last daily word right you'll get no more after this okay so i asked the lord what was the, the daily word he wanted me to give for today and he said 2023 is a wealthy year and i said what do you mean by that and he said it again he said 2023 is a wealthy year so he's not just talking finances he's talking in all abilities wealth in the spirit wealth in many people's lives in different arenas of their life wealth in their family wealth in the womb wealth in healing businesses that are lackluster will come alive again um people will begin business that businesses wealth of knowledge wealth of wisdom you know um wealth of good health all kinds of stuff has come as well as wealth of money so but uh 2023 is going to be a hard year he told me they're going to try and bring the c-19 back um so we got to pray against that they're going to use sand it's going to heighten in the winter months you know that might be what god showed me was coming next year it might be a stronger version of it i'm not sure so please pray you know against that and the lord said that um even after the hurricane in florida and south carolina and other places it hit 
people are still blaspheming him. So beware of more judgment, the Lord said, is coming. But his righteous will be protected. He said, your house will, won't sink if you're of mine. But if you're not of mine, your house is at risk of sinking. You know, let your family notice. Um, there's a great judgment that, that God is about to bestow on the wicked and the unrighteous. And we're going to see it. And it's going to be some hard stuff to see. And the weather is just going to keep pouncing in different places. Um, I saw more hurricanes coming. Um, and um, I told y'all about oh, two weeks ago, another hurricane was coming after the one here. And I believe Nicaragua and other places had it. I gave you a word about Indonesia having floods and mudslide is happening. Um, I told y'all it was going to be more um, demonic killings, people just killing people and it's happening. And you're going to see more people coming out, killing, stabbing, shooting at groups of people. So, you know, pray over yourself wherever you go. Pray over your children. I gave y'all the word that they were going to start snatching kids this month because of what this month means. And it's happening already. Lady, uh, the man left his baby in the uh, little, what you, what you call it, playpen outside. He went in the house for a minute, came back, the baby was gone. So that means people are squatting on y'all. People is watching y'all and your children, waiting for a moment for it to strike. So watch your children, your grandchildren, teenagers, small children. You know, don't be letting them go to parties and, and clubs and stuff. You know, and check on them in the night. Wake up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Make sure they're in the house. Make sure they ain't snuck nobody in the house. A young lady, I think it was down here, she snuck her, two, her boyfriend in the house 2 a.m. in the morning. She was 15 and he was 19. The father caught him and uh in the room and, and the 19 year old said he ain't going to jail for nothing and started to shoot the father they started fighting over the gun so he got shot in the foot and then he shot the father and the father died what it's crazy out here it's crazy you know and the lord gave me a word about parents and their children but i'm gonna have to put that on the other channel before the week is out it's a very important one and then he gave me another w word on why black men are going to the uh, Caucasian women. That, and that's that, that shock, it's shocking when you hear that. So I'm going to do those on the other channel before the week is out. I'm trying to do those on my computer. That way I don't have to do it on the phone. Because at least on my computer, I could delete it. But see, I'm not at my computer every morning. So, you know, that's why I'm not guaranteeing daily words anymore. Because I'm not at my computer. Sometimes I don't be at my computer for three, four, five days. Sometimes a week goes by and I'm not at my computer, you know. So that's the word for 2023. So, you know, pray about that. And again, I'm very sorry I won't be able to do daily words, but I will be doing weekly, the prayer devotional, small teaching, and something else at either Friday or Saturday of every week. And if I'm away and can't do it, I will do the best I can. <laughs> and I'll be coming on a couple of months live, a couple of times out the month live. All right. And then in every blue moon, I will do a short. You may see me or you may see my wall. <laughs> you know, and um, I won't be able to put a picture up because I won't be on the computer to do it. You know, so just bear with me, please. All right. And just keep me in prayer as I do you. Y'all have a blessed rest of the week. And uh, we will talk soon. Shalom.